Welcome back to This Week. We caught up with Governor Bill Lee at the groundbreaking for the new Titan Stadium and asked him about the stadium's impact on the state, his education commissioner's qualifications, and the Senate, House, and his education voucher programs. I think the encouraging part for me is that there is agreement that uh, everyone wants to get school choice done. And the House and the Senate, our amendment, all three very different, but the core tenets of them are the same. And that's how the legislative process works. They, stakeholders, by way of the lawmakers, bring ideas. And it's, it's really what we wanted. We started in November with this process, put our framework out there, and asked for stakeholders to weigh in. That's kind of exactly what's happening. The governor's proposal has no accountability measures included for private schools that would receive state funding. Yet he claims accountability is important. I mean, I think that accountability is very important. Um, the most credible accountability measure is a parent, but there are other accountability measures that exist currently for private schools, obviously for the public school system. I think that's one of the things that we've asked stakeholders to weigh in on, and that's what's happening. The, the House has a version, the Senate has a version. Both of those speak to accountability. We all agree there needs to be accountability, so what that ends up looking like at the end of the day will be part of this legislative process where they come together and, and uh, hash that out. The governor's plan is being changed. The original bill as filed is taking amendments, our amendment and both, both chambers' amendments. So, so we're, we're all on the same page. We're working on, from the same framework. Um, just spoke with both speakers today, all three of us together, talking about this process and how we take what we're very encouraged about is a movement forward for choice for parents in this state and how we refine it and get it finished. And I, I'm, I'm encouraged that process is going to happen. Democrats want the education commissioner to resign, saying Lizette Reynolds is not qualified for the job. I, mean, I think she's qualified. We've determined that. And that's kind of all there is to say about it. She's qualified for the job. Nick? She's qualified for the job. The governor sees the new Titan Stadium as a state asset. Yeah, I mean, this benefits all of Tennessee, um, for sure. This is, not, this is not just a Nashville uh, economic development tool. This is the state of Tennessee. It creates an economy that is connected to all of the state's economy. When one part of the state thrives, the other part of the state benefits from that. So we're, we're excited about what this means, not only for Nashville, but for the entire state. But will the cost of the new stadium lead to higher, unaffordable for many, ticket prices? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how the Titans organization will determine cost of tickets and that sort of thing, but I know that, that they are committed to this community. I mean, they've been here 25 years. They have been incredible corporate citizens. They have charitably given in multiple ways. They've weighed into the education system, to the housing issues. So, you know what, I'm, I'm grateful for the Titans organization, what they meant to this community. I'm sure they're going to make it uh, a place for everyone. I'm excited about the possibility of a Super Bowl or of the volunteers play in the Final Four, not in Phoenix, but in Nashville. Or the idea of taking my grandson, that one I took to the game this year, to Monster Truck. Or, or Maria and I going to a Garth Brooks concert in the middle of the rain. <laughs> in the middle of the rain in January. All of those things, all of those things are very, very possible for our community and, and so much more. We all know it's more than just an event. It is, it is a life-changing impact that it has on our state. Stay with us. This week continues in a moment. That will do it for another edition of this week's Super Tuesdays. Next week, remember to vote if you didn't take advantage of early voting. And we hope to see you back here next weekend for another edition of this week. You have a great week.